This is Richard with BWE Firearms. And today we're gonna show you how to field strip an FND, light machine gun. All right, this one is a Luxembourg contract in 30-06. They're all, all the different calibers are pretty much the same. I'm getting more and more people asking, uh, am I on alternative tech sites? Um, so in case YouTube decides to scrap my channel, I'm still out there. And yes, I am. I am on most of the alternative tech uh, and other social media sites. I'm trying to post videos everywhere. I'm looking at uh, seeing if I can host them on my website so I have complete complete control of them. Uh, I will try to post a, or pin a comment down below which has uh, links to all my alternative tech and other social media sites. To start stripping this, first thing we want to do is take the barrel off. One to make it a little lighter. So you push in the stop here, flip up the lever, and the barrel comes right off. Here is your gas piston and your adjustment, so you want to clean that up. Clean the barrel like you normally would on any other thing. I'm not going to go over cleaning, you know. If you don't know how to clean a gun, you shouldn't be watching this video. Okay. Next step, gun's much lighter without a barrel on it is to remove the grip frame. If I can, nope. Where is it? I can't see it. There it is. There. Simply rotate that down, pull this pin out, your grip frame comes off. Now, this pin, push this pin, and it comes right out. It's a captive pin. Fold the buttstock up. Push your bolt stop back a little bit. And slide everything out. That's your firing pin that always falls out. Now, if you take this pin out and this end hooks into this groove for the bolt, for the uh, charging handle. So if you take that out, all this will slide out. Slide that out. And you can take that out if you want. This is the rod that goes against the buffer in your stock. So slip that back in. And like anything else, your client, there's your gas piston. This weird little piece is your striker, hammer, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put this guy over here, get it out of my face so I'm not looking in the back of it. Flip the firing pin back in. If I'm coordinated enough, I'll put that pin in. Okay. 
this sits in the gun like this when it's moving back and forth. When it goes into battery, this will hit the back of the barrel and this comes up. This is your locking surface. which I will show you on the receiver in a minute. The firing pin is not normally sticking out. Oh, now it just slid out the back. There we go. See, now it is. So what happens is when this goes up into battery, go up into battery there, that comes and hits like that and pushes the firing pin forward. And now it's sticking out. This system will not let the firing pin go forward until the bolt is fully locked up into place. I don't know if you could see the wear marks, but right there, right along this surface is where the locking lugs are. Looking at pictures, these parts are extremely similar to the BAR. And they should be because this is basically a copy of the BAR or a, a modified, an updated version of the BAR. I have not bought BAR parts to find out exactly how close they are. Um, I know one is in inch measurements and the FND is in metric measurements. So there could be some variations there. I'm kind of hoping that they are the same. That would be nice for me at least. So I can get some extra firing pins and whatnot. Um, what else needs to be field stripped? That's it. That's field stripping this gun. Done. Boom. To put it back together. And these, there is a groove down in here that those slide into. Drop that in here. And that goes like that. Now, I have found it's kind of easier to flip this upside down. Stock's a bit of a pain in the butt. But so you get this going in there. And there's all kinds of little shelves and everything in there. You got to get around, push your cocking handle back a little bit, push this pin all the way through. And that's all in there. Flip it over, flip your stock up, push your pin in. Put your grip frame back on. If you can find the damn hole. Oh. I guess it helps if I push it in from the right side. There we go. That's on. Take your barrel. Slide it on. Tighten it, and you're done. The FND is all back together. Um, that's all there is to it. Cleaning, you know, clean it like everything else. Use a little bit of solvent, clean the crud off of it, wipe the receiver out. This is Richard with BWE Firearms, and I hope you like and enjoyed this video and learned something along the way. With this year, 2021, with me 
getting stage four colon cancer, diabetes, and neuropathy in my hands and feet. It's getting harder and harder to work. And I have uh, come to realize my own mortality. Uh, because of that, uh, I realized that if I don't get this information out of my head and into videos or into other people's heads, uh, I will take it to the grave with me, and that does nobody any good at all. If you would, please like, share, subscribe, and comment to the video. It helps me with the algorithms. And if you would like to support my efforts in doing these videos, uh, please go to my website, bwefirearms.com, and in my shopping cart, I have an item in there where you can donate money to my efforts. And... Uh, uh, 97% of the money will go directly to uh, me doing these videos. 3%, of course, will go to the credit card company. I will, you know, take a dollar. I will take $1,000. Whatever you feel like donating, I would greatly appreciate it, and it will help me get this stuff done. You have a nice day, and we will see you in the next video.